Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and an extra special welcome to this episode where we're going to be polishing the fuel. So this is a nice, easy to make DIY kit that you can enjoy making at home. Um, I think it cost me just under £120 for the whole thing um, to put together. Now, the reason I created one of these is because I had a, a bit of diesel bug in my fuel tank. Now I do use something called Marine 16 which is a diesel bug killer um, but basically what happened is we had motor sailed um, just over 100 miles it was and as we were going into uh, a marina the engine cut out because of a clogged fuel filter and we hit a wall. Luckily the engine came on just long enough for us to kind of uh, take up two mooring spots at a very interesting angle. But anyway let's uh, check out what the fuel filter looks like. What it is, is it starts off with a semi-flexible tube. Uh, this is speed pipe. And then it goes onto a hose that goes into a little hand pump siphon. There is a little black arrow to tell you, by the way, which way it's going to go on here. Then it goes into a sieve, which is going to get rid of a lot of the large debris. And then it's going to go into this Katsu uh, filter, which is basically a copy of a Raycor filter. Now, I do like these. I've put a link in the description for you so you can check it out. But basically, you um, replace the filters. They're only about £5 a filter as well. Uh, you just drop them in on the top. So uh, they're very easy to access. And it is also a water separator down here. So as the fuel goes through, you might see water collecting at the bottom there because the fuel... Uh, will float above the uh, the water and then it goes across here into this uh, fuel lift pump now this one that I've got I don't really recommend because it's not that powerful and then it goes into another fuel hose so what I do is I stick both of the ends of the fuel hoses um, into the tank so this one will go right at the bottom and suck everything through the system and collecting all the debris along the way. And this one simply just puts it back into the tank. Now your engine, when, it, when you are running your engine, the filters within your system will collect some debris, which is why you've basically got to change them from time to time, which is my next job. So you can see in the background there, I've got the oil and filters ready for a service. So I'll be putting that on a second video. Uh, but yeah, let's uh, check it out. Let's do it. Those who are new to the channel do a lot of outdoor living stuff. So from camping to boat life to overall adventures. Now my tank holds 140 litres in total. So if we have a quick look over here. So this is the fuel in uh, to the engine. This one here with the little tube is to the diesel heater. And then this one is the return back in. So as fuel, the unburnt fuel goes back into your fuel tank. So you kind of polish it a little bit as you go. And then this is the uh, the gauge sensor. So this is where I'm going to go in. Okay, so you want to gently do it. Also want to have some napkins ready. So you just have to kind of get a feel for it because there's a little float sensor on here. So as you see, I can't just quickly push it up. So let's have a little look. It's like playing operation. There we go. So I just want to, I mean, you, the purpose is cleaning the tank. That's what you want to do. So you can see that's not the colour that the fuel's meant to be. And you can see the discoloration on here. So I'm going to clean that up. Just to help the process along, I'm actually just going to pre-fill uh, this filter here. Now you want to have lots of tissue ready. As you can see if I'm actually spilling just a tiny little bit as it drips off the cup. This tap needs to be physically down, not physically up. So you see the little pattern? I uh, thought that up was tight, but it's not. So you see a little bit of a mess. Okay, now I'm going to prime it 
the hand pump and here we go we can see it's all being good in that okay so we're uh, pretty primed let's uh, check it out here we go now I did have an issue with it actually priming so despite the pump I actually really needed to fill this back up and you got the pump going now and it's coming through Okay, so this is it in action. We've got the fuel pickup tube that goes through and around here. This was to help prime it and it goes into the main sieve there. And then you've got the Katsu filter through here, through a pump and through here. And then back in. So it's going back in the same place that it's being picked up. Okay, the one on the left has water in it, so you can see where it's clearly separated. And then on the right, that's just plain uh, red diesel. So we use red diesel in the UK, so it's about uh, tax reasons. But anyway, so the way you get water in your fuel tank is um, you get condensation, just like your windows or anything else. You get condensation from rain in. So most people say keep your fuel tank full which is, um, you know, it's always a, a good thing to do. But on the top of your tank, you've got an open surface. So let's say you are like almost full. You still got this full top of the tank that can get the condensation on it. And what happens is it goes and it makes its way down uh, to the bottom. Now your fuel pickup tube is like a straw that goes almost to the bottom of the fuel tank. Now, of course, water won't burn like the diesel would so that can be a problem with your um your fuel but between the water and the diesel what you can do is get this uh, bacteria growth called the diesel bug which is what we're doing now to try and get rid of it now you can use bug treatments like marine 16 this is the thing that was recommended to me and quite a lot of people use it but even so with that i still have a, a little bit of an issue which i'll show you in a little bit now I just switched it off for two shakes of a jiffy, but this is why I've used a long hose because my tank goes quite far back. Now just seeing if the it's not hot or anything, so happy to carry on going for a little bit longer. And this is why you don't use it for uh, gas or uh, petrol. So that the fumes could have blown you up. Now I ran it for about an hour. And I also added the little drain tube um, to hopefully make it not that messy um, pulling it away. But I took the fuel uh, hose pickup out first and kind of let it run off a little bit just so this first part is um, hopefully not got too much diesel left in it. You do get a lot of void spaces with um, like production boats. So for example, this um, you don't really have much access once these are screwed down. But they could have made the fuel tank a lot bigger. I mean, look, you've got all that empty space. You could probably fit an extra 20 litre fuel in there. And it's the same over there. Now, I'd love my boat, but if I was to change my tank, that's exactly what I'd do. I'd literally try and get every inch possible uh, out of here. Because, I mean, look, there's quite a bit of a gap between here as well. So, if you take off this much... Okay, so okay, so uh, after running the the polish for about an hour, uh, I'm just doing a little bit of a side by side comparison. So I'll bring you a little bit closer to me in just a second. So what I've done is I've cut get the regular diesel, the diesel with water, 
uh, the diesel which was the drain off from the main filter now I use this bowl and there is residue at the bottom and I uh, this is basically the leftovers from the bottom bit if that makes sense and then you've got the filter that I used an unused filter and then the sieve so uh, let's uh, bring you in a bit closer so you can have a little look okay let's start off with the this is the regular diesel here the diesel with just water because earlier if you skipped ahead I just wanted to demonstrate how the water sits on the bottom and this is where you get the bacteria growth and then this is the part of the filter uh, that was drained off now I drained it off in the bucket which also has some residue inside as we move along we have the filters this is the filter I used next to a uh, brand new one and I believe that they are 30 micron and then across here we have the main sieve so you can see that it got a lot of the contaminants there I mean just as a reminder I do use uh, marine 16 and what I tend to do is I tend to fill up using the jerry can so I add a little bit into the jerry can uh, and then I will fill up using that but I use the plastic jerry cans like this so these are the good ones because they don't rust on the inside all right so here's the results of the filter process okay so we'll start off with um, this is brand new diesel uh, from, straight from the pump okay uh, this one is the filtered one so once it's went through the filter process uh, you can see there's no dark bits at the bottom it is a slightly different color uh, as we go over to the next one so this is once I finished the filter process and emptied the filters you can see all the stuff that it's took out all the contaminants and as we go along so you can see this is a brand new sieve versus the one that is all clogged up which I, I thought that's done a really good job to be fair uh, and then this is uh, from the Raycor filter uh, now this cartridge was white okay so I'll put it on the paper so you can see the comparison now there are loads of little dots in there um, you can't really see them on on the camera but overall I'm pretty satisfied with the uh, with the outcome so you know I'm pretty confident that it's clean or at least clean enough but yeah um, to pour them all off I just put some cardboard down to keep the mess off but yeah I'm just gonna go and dispose of all the uh, excess fuel now and then put everything back together Now, if you've enjoyed the video, uh, please like and subscribe because that will really help me out. Um, the next video that I'll upload from this will be the engine servicing. And then I think I'll be doing a couple of car videos because I've got to go home for work and I need new brakes because they're squeaking and I'll be doing an oil change probably. Oh, and my starter motor's not working properly. So yeah, that's what I'll be doing. All right, folks, I'm going to wrap this video up. Thank you very much for uh, watching, if you've watched the whole thing. I'm going to leave an outro so you can see what else uh, I've been up to as well. So lots of uh, adventures and everything there. Um, but yeah, have a great time, great day, and enjoy. And I'll uh, hopefully win this map. <laughs> Maybe not. Okay, so that's me done. All right, thanks very much, guys. The channel's pretty new, so uh, let me know what you guys actually want to see. So do you want to see me do the car repairs? Do you want me to see boat repairs? Do you want to see more gaming, cooking? What do you want to see?